Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to do a video on how to extend um, this header the way I do it. I'm doing this one, this is for a customer, and since I was doing it today I figured I'd go ahead and uh, show you how I do that. Um, most guys, most modders, do not, don't do this the way I do it. I, I remove this header from the board and then reattach it to the board with a ribbon cable so this can go ahead and plug into the um, to the motherboard the way the stock one would I can and then then I can move this anywhere I want it but uh, yeah this is for a customer and I wanted to go ahead and do a quick video on, on how I desolder this and how I get this this off now I'm gonna give you a fair warning this technique it's really easy you can destroy your RF board so do this at your own peril uh, I've been doing it for a while I know how to do it to keep from destroying my boards but you know if you try it this way you can very easily destroy your board and you won't be able to use it uh, first thing you need uh, there's a lot of different ways to desolder uh, these points uh, the best way to go is a solder sucker or a solder pump you can get solder wicks and stuff like that now uh, Microsoft uses a um, lead free solder so these things are really uh, they're a pain to desolder but uh, what I use what I have is one of these it's a, a solder desoldering pump. Um, you, the way that works, you put this tip right there over the soldered point you want to uh, you want to desolder with the with the bulb already pinched. Put it over there. Wait till it heats up. Release the bulb, and that pulls the solder from the connection. I can give you a quick demonstration of that. Actually, I don't need that for this. All right. Let's see. I'm going to try to get this soldered connection right here. Alright, now let's see if I can get a good look at that. Alright, if you can see that right, right here, you can see that the solder is been, has been pulled away from this pin. And that would come right out. Now this header, this um, shield, is also attached right here and right here. Now that is almost impossible to desolder and get loose. Now, I, I do try that every time. I try to desolder this, but it has never worked. The way I do it is I turn it over on this side and I cut the connection right there where that shield hits the base. Now, this is the part where you can really easily uh, destroy your RF board. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead. I use a Dremel to do that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut the camera off, get those cut real quick, and then uh, I'll be back in just a little bit. All right, <clears throat> I've got one side done, uh, so I can show you that, and I'm going to cut the other side of this on camera so you'll you can see how that's done. Now this is the part where if you, one tiny little slip and your board becomes useless, and also wear proper leather gloves because the Dremels are very dangerous. All right, let me see if I can go ahead and get this cut for you guys on camera. <laughs> looks like it okay all right now this outside shield here is released so these two points do not have to be desoldered to remove this so now I'm going to go forward and desolder the rest of these smaller points now this is the light side the LED side of the connector of the uh, board that you're looking at so let's go ahead and see if the rest of these will come loose easily. Alright. There we go. Let's see this one. Alright, if you can see that. Right here, this one on the bottom. Now that solder point is loose. So, uh, you know, I'll do a couple more of them on camera so you can get a, a hang of how to do it and then I'll shut it off and finish taking these leaves. Alright. Ah, 
I've got a stubborn one there. I'll show you what to do with that in a second. Might have another stubborn one here. Yeah, we do. Alright, now, in doing that, I had two of them. Let's see if I can get you guys a good look at that right here and right here that the solder didn't really come loose properly. The rest of them, it pulled it all out, but it didn't pull it out all out here or here. And that happens sometimes. Um, sometimes the best way to remedy that is to uh, put a little solder back in it and pull it out again, which is what I'm going to try to do first. So I'll go ahead and re-solder these two points. That one and that one. Been resoldered. Now let me see if I can get them to come loose. Uh, that one looked like it did, and so did that one. All right, now take these loose. The rest of the way you can't can't really pry around on these boards a lot. Uh, I like to try to get it loose with my fingers first to see if it will come loose, so let's give that a shot. Alright, it came out. Now you can see two of these little pins did not come out with it. That's fine. They, they pulled loose. You can put these back in. And you can see that one that I tried to fix didn't come loose all the way. It's still stuck in there, so let's uh, pull that out. Okay. Let's grab a hold of that with my, uh, my tweezers. And I'll heat up the other side of it with my soldering iron. It should slip right out. Come on. There it goes. Alright. Now that's going to be hot for a second. Uh, but, alright, it should be cool now. But putting these back in is, is not difficult when they pop out like that. Um, just look at this side, you can see the ones, you can see the two that are missing, so I just slide it back in that opening. Get the seat in there. And check the other side and make sure it went in properly. That one went in okay. Let's get the other one. that one back in. And there they are. They're reseated and you can look at this side and see that they're all seated in there properly. So with this thing removed, I want to take a look at my uh, board and make sure my uh, all my solder connections look okay. You can see the two that gave me trouble. One right here and one right here. They're still, they're not, you can't see through them. So I'll show you how you can see light through those. Well, the two that gave me trouble are a little, still a little clogged. That doesn't really make any difference. It doesn't hurt anything. Um, what we want to do now, because we're actually going to be putting solder back into those. What we want to do now, let's reconnect this. So I have both of my hands free is in each one of these little points we're going to replace a little tiny bit of solder in, e in each one of these points. So let's go ahead and do that. Now let me clean that off. Tin that a little bit. Okay.
Okay. Now that isn't exactly pretty. It's not my best work. But you can see there's a little dot of solder on each one of those connections. Alright, now i got to get my rib ribbon cable ready, so let me shut this off. I'll be back in a minute. 